With introduction of Elix Cloud, users are now able to get latest weather information into the cockpit. We distinguish between real-time data like rainfall radar image and weather forecast data. Today we will show how you can use this information to increase your safety and performance. Some functions work only when Elix Zeus is connected with the Elix Cloud account via internet. Please note that for this to work, you need Elix Era 57, Elix Era 80 or Elix EOS 80 volumeter. Weather forecast services work regardless of connected volumeter, as users should download forecast data prior to the flight and bring it to the cockpit on a USB memory key. Before using any weather service, it is advised to modify the layout of your screen and now box line, as we have added numerous tools to help you navigate through the weather data that is now available. First go to Setup, Layout and select the page you want to modify. We will select Turn Point, but you can select more than one page at a time. Long press on the right rotary knob and open Select Indicators menu. As the real estate on the screen is critical, we will remove some items that might not be relevant while we are observing the weather information. In our case, we will remove sliding speed indicator and variometer indicator, but we'll add a weather scale and weather description indicator. Now go back to the map and adjust the position of the newly added indicators. With the right rotary knob, select the indicator you want to move, press inside and move it to a preferred position. Press again and resize it. Do the same for the other indicators. Once satisfied with the layout, close the layout editor by pressing the left rotary knob. Now we can modify our now box line. Go to the navigation page you want to edit and long press right rotary knob. Square around the now box will appear. Select the location you want to modify and press right rotary knob. Navigate to weather subsection. You can add the weather time showing you the time step of the data visible on the screen. Weather value will show you the weather data at your present position, for example, a height of thermals at your present location and display time. Weather type is showing you the type of overlay on the map. Air temperature is actual measured air temperature with the outside air temperature sensor connected to your system, while an air temperature on the ground is calculated temperature on the ground that might not reflect the actual values. So it's for reference only. Once happy with your selection, close the menu. Now we are ready to start using our weather services. First, we will check the Rain Raider. Rain Raider is a free service with global coverage. If the service is enabled, Alexus will try to get the latest Rain Raider information for your location. This is done periodically every 10 minutes. Alexus will download information for the last one hour and will animate the images. This gives pilot ability to judge the speed of the weather that's approaching. This rain radar is for reference only and is not official information. To enable rain radar on Elix Zeus, first enable the service inside your Elix Cloud. Go to your Elix Cloud and open Services. Go to rain radar and activate the service. Now we need to check that our connection to the Elix Cloud is active and service is enabled. On Elix Zeus, Long press on Setup Info button and press Cloud Virtual button. When connection is established, all lists and enabled services are visible. Check that the Rain Raider is enabled and that your device is connected. Now go to Setup, Weather and under Display on Map select Rain. In this very same menu, you can modify the way your rain is visible on the screen. You can set zoom level visibility animation speed for how long the animation will freeze, showing you the latest picture. Transparency will enable you to see the terrain and other artifacts on the map through the rain. You can manually trigger the system to retrieve the latest data by pressing Request Now. Status of request is visible in the last update menu item. If Auto Update is enabled, Alex Zeus, when connected to Alex Cloud, will try to retrieve the latest Rain Raider picture every 10 minutes, even during the flight. Please note that when rain is transferred, you will see a progress on a connected volumeter. 
If you press bottom rotary knob, you will cancel the transfer. Next one will occur after 10 minutes if auto update is enabled or at next manual request. Now we have the latest weather information, so go back to the navigation page and check the status. If there is rain in your vicinity, it should be visible on the map. This should bring you peace of mind to the cockpit as you can now check what is happening with the weather around you. SkySight is a paid service. Please register your account at SkySight to enable the integration with Alex Cloud. If you have a valid subscription plan, please enter the email address used on SkySight to the Alex Cloud. And if your subscription is valid, it will show you the latest forecast data. This data is divided into regional data. Please download daily weather file and store it to USB memory key. SkySight forecast is available for Alex Zeus devices regardless of connected wire unit. Bring USB key to your Alex Zeus and go to Setup, Weather and press Transfer from USB to upload the weather file. Time and region of the uploaded weather file should appear in the SkySight subsection of the menu. Now select the layer you want to see on the map. We will select cross-country speed as an example, showing you the potential cross-country speed you can achieve at certain location and certain time. You can also select the time offset for display data. If zero hour is selected, Alex Zeus will take the forecast data for the current time and display it on the map. If you want to see the forecast in the future, please select some other time offset. Time offset and weather data is available in half an hour time intervals. Select transparency and on the top select display on map to show the sky side. Now go back to the map and check the forecast around you. Previously prepared now boxes and indicators will help you guide over the available data. If you want to quickly change the forecast layer, press right rotary knob on any navigation page and select weather software button. A familiar menu will appear where you can quickly change, for example, from cross country speed to some other layer. Let's change it to the height of thermal. Hope this gave you some overview on how to use weather services on Alex Zeus. We will add more services and solutions in the future. For more details, please check our website, watch other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.